Hi folks, I'm the Jason of All Trades, and this is not my motorcycle vest. Uh, one of the other welders where I work. Uh, found out that I can sew, and once he stopped laughing, he asked if uh, I would take on a project for him. And he wanted to line his motorcycle vest with Crown Royal bags. I foolishly thought that might be something fun to try. Uh, so I took it on and I've been working on it for months, uh, you know, in my spare time and between other projects. And it's finally finished. Um, and I want to preemptively answer a couple of questions about it first. I have absolutely no idea. I assume he didn't drink this much Crown Royal. I think there's 40 or 50 bags involved in this. Um, so I, I don't have a source for Crown Royal bags, so if you're thinking about doing something with them, I wouldn't bother asking me uh, or sending an email or anything. I have no clue. Uh, no. I don't ever want to see a Crown Royal bag again as long as I live. Uh, this actually was the most ambitious project I've ever taken on and way harder than I thought it might be. Um, if you want to pay me a thousand dollars, then send me an email at the Jason of all trades at gmail.com. But other than that, I have no interest in ever doing one of these things again. I'll show you basically how I put it together. Uh, if you're thinking about doing something like this, you can email me and I'll, I'll answer any questions I can, but I don't have any idea what I'm doing. And I, I did this completely on the fly and, uh, somehow it came out actually pretty well. Um, so basically uh, what I did was I uh, took the vest, made a pattern from the inside uh, with just some muslin fabric. You could use any kind of fabric um, to make the pattern. Then I took all the Crown Royal bags, I had to cut each one individually. Uh, my, my client wanted uh, each panel to have the writing on it. Uh, I was going to just alternate them to make more efficient use of the bags but uh, he wanted it on each one. So uh, had to cut all these bags, sew them all together, essentially make a patchwork quilt out of Crown Royal bags. And then I have it uh, so that it can zip on and off so that uh, potentially it could be cleaned or I'm not you know, permanently affixing it to the vest in case it's not what he wanted. Uh, and the back of it is lined with a um, apparel lining fabric. Uh, you wouldn't want to wear the vest without the actual leather vest. It would look ridiculous, I think, but it might look ridiculous anyway. But uh, I wanted to give it some structure, so I put this other fabric on, the, the lining fabric, to do that. I tried uh, experimenting with some interfacing, and I, I just couldn't get it to iron on uh, and adhere in a way that I was happy with. So I, I just ran several rows of stitching to bond the lining fabric to the Crown Royal bags to hopefully make it last a little while. Um, I have done a little bit of research online and what research I've done suggests that washing this would probably be an ethically bad idea. Um, I took a couple of sample pieces, soaked them in some water, let them dry out. They seemed okay. Um, so I don't know if this maybe could be hand washed or washed on a super gentle cycle, but uh, I would assume that you just need to not do anything to it. And it'll last as long as it lasts, and then that's that. Uh, but if you know more about Crown Royal bag uh, structure than I do, then awesome. So uh, I took this, uh, actually just a few minutes ago, I went to an alteration shop near me, uh, very unscientifically, just the one that was closest. And I asked the opinion of the person there about what they would charge to, to make something like this. Uh, and the only thing she would tell me is she wouldn't even begin to take on a project like this and wow, uh, which I took as a great compliment. Uh, so uh, if you want something like this, you're probably going to have to make it yourself. And I'm not going to make it, so don't ask. Anyway, I just thought I would share it. I thought it was kind of a cool project. Now that this is done, hopefully I can move on to some of the other projects that I have stewing. Mike, your Porsche 914 seats are next, I promise. Anyway, thanks for watching.